Hello, class 11th. Welcome to your class 11th after completing your 10th. Hope you would have done well in the exam. So this is your first lesson in English and first time you are appearing in the online English class. So I welcome you all. So you pay attention on the screen because the text I'm going to explain is on your screen. As far English is concerned, you are the student of English core. So you are prescribed two books by the NCRT or CBSC. One is Hornbill and second one is Snapshots. Other than this, you have creative writing and comprehension. So we will try to cover all the syllabus before your final exam as per schedule. So uh, the first lesson of Hornbill is the portrait of a lady. And this story is written by the famous writer Khusvan Singh. In the story, you will find some very interesting phrase. The thought was almost revolting, an expense of pure white serenity, a turning point, accepted her seclusion with resignation, a veritable bedlam of choppings, frivolous rebukes, the sagging skins of dilapidated drum. So these are the very highly uh, literary terms, or you can say the literary expressions of Khuswan Singh. We will explain them in between the lines when we will read this. So this story, the portrait of a lady, is actually the personal account of Khuswan Singh, where he depicts the image of her, his grand, so the mother, what sort of a lady was she, what is in the mind of Khuswan Singh about his a grandmother. As you know, as a child, our grandmother, grandparents are very close to us. So was, so was the case with Khuswan Singh. So we will find out what sort of relation was there with Khuswan Singh and his grandmother. My grandmother, like everybody's uh, grand, so the mother was an old woman. She had been old, she had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years that I had known her. People said that she had once been young and pretty and had even had a husband. But that was hard to believe. My grandfather, my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. He wore a big turban and a loose fitting clothes. His long white beard covered his best part of his chest and he looked at least a hundred years old. He did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or children. He looked as if he could only have a lots and lots of grandchildren. As for my grand, so the mother, being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. She often told us of the games she used to play as a child that was absurd and undignified on her part. So in this first part of the story, first paragraph of the story, the writer tells the details of his grand so the mother that what sort of a lady was the grandmother and how he was how he thought about her so my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was a uh, old woman she had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years so 20 years since the day he was writing the story about the grandmother it has been 20 years and he says she had been the same that I had known her, he means known her means I am looking, living and well acquainted with my grandmother since last 20 years and she is the same for the last 20 years. People said that she had once been young and pretty. When people talk about my grandmother, they say that once the grandmother was young and pretty and had and had even had a husband and they also tell, they also say that once my grand so the mother had a husband because the uh, writer the narrator had never seen the grandfather so but that was hard to believe the writer Khuswan Singh says that I cannot believe this he cannot believe this my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room there is a fireplace and that fireplace above that fireplace there is a flat area on which the people used to put the things it is called mental piece the mental piece means in a corner, there is a fireplace. In our cold places, what happens in our homes? Fireplace is there, where people are lighting the fire. On top, a flat area. You can say hearth or something like that. On top, a flat area. On top, a flat area. On top, a flat area. People used to put the things on that mantelpiece. So, what was on the mantelpiece? The drawing room. 
ड्राइंग रूम के मेंटल पीस के ऊपर क्या था ग्रैंड फादर्स पोर्ट्रेट पोर्ट्रेट मीन्स द पिक्चर यू कैन से एन इमेज दैट वॉज ड्रोन बाई सम आर्टिस्ट और टेकन फोटोग्राफ सो वी विल कॉल इट फोटोग्राफी सो जो ग्रैंड फादर का फोटोग्राफ है वो मेंटल पीस के ऊपर रखा ड्राॅइंग रूम में ही वो है बिग टर्बन एंड लूज फिटिंग क्लोथ्स इन दैट पोर्ट्रेट आई कैन सी दैट माई ग्रैंड फादर मीन्स द राइटर्स ग्रैंड फादर वोर वोर इज द पास फॉर्म ऑफ वियर वियर वोर वोर वोन सो ही वोर मीन्स ही हैड अ बिग टर्बन एंड एंड अ लूज फिटिंग क्लोथ्स नीचे एक ढीला कुर्ता पजामा जिसको लूज फिटिंग क्लोथ्स पंजाबी पीपल यूज टू वेयर टर्बन ऑन द हेड जो बाल उनके बंद हो जाते हैं उसके अंदर पगड़ी जैसे कहते हैं टर्बन एंड लूज फिटिंग क्लोथ्स हिज लॉन्ग वाइट बियर्ड कवर द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ हि चेस्ट एंड ही लुक्ड एटलीस्ट ए हंड्रेड ईयर्स ओल्ड और जो उसके वाइट बियर्ड थी जो वाइट उसकी दाढ़ी थी इट वॉज सो लॉन्ग दैट इट वॉज कवरिंग द बेस्ट पार्ट मीन्स द ग्रेटर एरिया ऑफ हिज चेस्ट वॉज कवर्ड बाई दैट वाइट बियर्ड वाइट बियर्ड से उसकी जो दाढ़ी थी सफ़ेद उससे उसकी चेस्ट कवर हुई रहती थी एटलीस्ट ए हंड्रेड ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड बाई दिस अपियरेंस ही लुक्स एज इफ ही वॉज हंड्रेड ईयर्स ओल्ड ही डिड नॉट लुक द सॉर्ट ऑफ पर्सन हु वुड हैव अ वाइफ और चिल्ड्रन ही वॉज सो ओल्ड दैट नो बडी कुड बिलीव अ चाइल्ड लाइक मी मीन्स लाइक द राइटर कैन नॉट बिलीव दैट दिस ओल्ड मैन वुड हैव अ वाइफ और चिल्ड्रन ऐसा लगता ही नहीं था कि ऐसे बूढ़े आदमी की क्या हो सकती कभी एक वाइफ या बच्चे हो सकते हैं he was so old he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren usse dekh ke lagta tha ki such an old person can only have lots and lots of grandchildren sirf unke grandchildren ho sakte hain children aur uh, wife aur bachche to nahi he was such an old person as for my grand uh, the mother being young and pretty the thought uh, the thought was almost revolting jahan tak uh, meri grand mother ki baat thi when people say that she was young a pretty woman ye thought was almost revolting revolting means opposing opposing to means in opposite of her appearance jab log kehte the ye young thi ye pretty thi beautiful thi so i did i could not believe this so the thought was almost revolting was just opposite of her appearance she often told us of the games she used to play as a child kabhi kabhi batati thi ki as a child she used to play such and such game किसको बताती थी टू द राइटर दैट सीम्ड एब्जर्व एंड अनडिग्निफाइड ऑन हर पार्ट और जो जब वो बताती थी वेन सी यूज टू से दैट आई आई यूज टू प्ले सच एंड सच गेम तो मुझे क्या लगता था एब्जर्ड एब्जर्ड मीन्स फुलिश बेवकूफी लगती थी हाउ हाउ कैन सच एन ओल्ड वुमन कैन प्ले द गेम ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड अनडिग्निफाइड अनडिग्निफाइड मीन्स अपोजिट ऑफ डिग्निफाइड डिग्निफाइड मीन्स वेन समबडी has some honor when somebody is given some honor he is called dignified and when that honor is withdrawn we don't give respect or honor to someone it is called undignified so on her part means on the part of my grandmother meri grandma ki taraf se aisa game khelna mere liye foolish or disrespect ki baat thi and we treated it like the fables of prophets and she used fables and we used to <coughs> take this we used to ट्रीट दिस उसकी इन बातों को हम ऐसे ट्रीट करते थे जैसे फैबल्स मीन्स सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टोरीज वो प्रोफेट्स की जो कहानी हमें बताती थी जो प्रोफेट्स मीन्स द ग्रेट पीपल ऑफ द पास्ट मीन्स दे आर इट इज सेट दैट प्रोफेट्स आर सेंट बाई द गॉड तो ऐसे लोगों की स्टोरीज जो हमें बताती थी लाइक गुरु नानक साहब एंड सो ऑन सो प्रोफेट्स की स्टोरीज जो हमें बताती थी वी ट्रीटेड द सेम दैट माई ग्रैंड मदर कैन नॉट प्ले सच अ गेम इट इज जस्ट अ काइंड ऑफ फैबल अ काइंड ऑफ रिलीजियस स्टोरी or imaginary story she had always been short and fat and slightly bent her face was criss cross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere no we were certain no we were certain she had always been as we had known her old so terribly old that she could not have grown older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful she hobbled about the house in spotless white and one hand resting on her stoop so on her uh, waist to balance her stoop and another and uh, and other telling the beads of her rosary her silver locks were scattered untidily over her pale puckered face and her lips constantly moved in uh, uh, moved in inaudible prayers 
Yes, she was beautiful. She was like the winter landscape in the mountains, an expanse of pure white serenity, breathing peace and contentment. So, in the second paragraph of the story, the writer tells about that she had always been short and fat, short heighted. Uska ka the short tha, fat, thoda sa heavy body thi, and slightly bent. Slightly means a little bit bent. Aage ko jhuki hui, bend ka pass form bent. Thoda sa uski waist kamar jhuki thi. Her face was a crisscross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere. Uska jo face tha, wo kya tha? Crisscross. As a crisscross means the lines running from one place to another place. Crisscross of wrinkles. Wrinkles kya hote? The lines on the skin. Wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere means so many wrinkles on her face. No, we were certain she had always been as we had known her. वो जैसी थी, वो समेसा से वैसी ही थी जब से हमने उसे देखा था. She had always been the same as we have seen her. So, no, we were certain she had always been as we had known her. She was the same as we had seen her since our childhood. Old, so terribly old that she could not have grown older. She has already reached at the top of old age. She cannot be older than that. She was such an old woman and had stayed at the same age for 20 years. And after reaching that top level of old age, she cannot be older. So, she had stayed there. She was constantly the same since last 20 years, she has been the same old aged woman. She could never have been pretty, but she was always beautiful. Means pretty means from outer appearance, from the appearance of her body, her face, her hair. We cannot say that she was pretty, but for me, my grandmother was very beautiful. Beautiful thi. She hobbled about the house in a spotless white with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop. She hobbled. Hobbled means a kind of walk when your one leg uh, is not uh, is paining or have some problem in one leg. Then the way you walk is called hobble, hobbling, hobbling about. Means old people used to walk not properly. They used to put the weight on one leg then not put the weight on the both the legs. So the way the old people walk is called hobbled. And even when we have some injury on our leg, we also hobble. She hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand. Spotless white means she was quite white. Her skin was white. Her All the hair were white. Everything was white on her appearance. So her dress was white. She hobbled about the house in spotless white. Spotless means without any stain. Bina kisi dag dhabbe ke safed kapde pehenti thi. Or pure baal and skin everything was white. White. One hand resting on her waist, ek hand uska apne waist kamar pe rehta tha to balance her stoop, jo jhuka hua hai, uska structure tha usko balance karne ke liye and the other, and the, uh, to waste her balance and other telling the beads of her rosary. Aur jo dousra uska haath hota tha, wo hota tha on her, uh, one uh, to balance her stoop and the other telling the beads of her rosary, beads of her rosary. Beads of a rosary means means a kind of beads we used to use when we are praying. हम कुछ हाथ में माला ऐसे जपते हैं मन के की या तुलसी की माला या दूसरी तरह के चीजों कोई भी मतलब रिलिजियस जो चीजें होती हैं और जो कुछ लोग स्पेटिक रखते हैं. So different sort of beads. So beads of a rosary जो उसके हाथ में माला थी वो दूसरे हाथ में उसे काउंट करने में लगती है पहला हाथ उसके वेस्ट पे है एंड अनदर हैंड ऑन द वेस्ट ऑन कीप बिजी ऑन टेलिंग द बीट्स ऑफ हर रोजरी मीन्स डूइंग प्रेयर विद दैट अनदर हैंड हर सिल्वर लॉक्स वर स्केटर्ड अन टाइडली ओवर हर पेल पकड़ फेस उसके जो सिल्वर लॉक्स थे सिल्वर लॉक्स मीन्स द ग्रे हेयर द वाइट हेयर उसके जो वाइट लॉक्स थे लॉक्स किसे कहते हैं बालों के ग्रुप मीन्स जो द लॉक्स ऑफ हेयर तो जो उसका था सिल्वर कलर का लॉक्स वर स्केटर्ड मीन्स वर स्प्रेड ऐसे बिखरा रहता था अनटाइडली अनटाइडली मीन्स नॉट वेल मेंटेन्ड ओवर हर पेल उसके पेल मीन्स येलोविस पकड़ पकड़ मीन्स फुल ऑफ रिंकल्स रिंकल्स से भरे 
ओल्ड एज का कलर जो पेल होता है उसके फेस पे एंड हर लिप्स कॉन्स्टेंटली मूवड इन इन ऑडेबल प्लेयर्स और उसके लिप्स हमेशा कॉन्स्टेंटली फॉर एवर मूविंग इन इन ऑडेबल इन ऑडेबल इज अपोजिट ऑफ ऑडेबल समथिंग दैट कैन नॉट बी लिसेंड सो हर लिप्स वर बिजी इन टेलिंग द प्रेयर दैट इज इन ऑडेबल टू अस तो उसका उसने एक इमेज रखी है अपनी ग्रैंड मदर की कैसी लगती थी सिल्वर लॉक्स में वो लॉक्स जो उसके थे बाल जो उसके थे वो क्या थे स्केटर्ड स्केटर्ड स्केटर राउंड हिज राउंड हर पेल फेस सो यस सी वॉज ब्यूटिफुल सी वॉज लाइक अ विंटर लैंडस्केप इन द माउंटेन सी वॉज एज वाइट एज अ विंटर लैंडस्केप लैंडस्केप मीन्स अ व्यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ आवर आईज इज कॉल्ड लैंडस्केप सो विंटर लैंडस्केप मीन्स स्नो एवरीवेयर सी वॉज लाइक अ विंटर लैंडस्केप इन द माउंटेन्स जैसे माउंटेन्स में विंटर में वाइट एकदम प्योर वाइट दिखता है सेम वॉज द अपियरेंस ऑफ माई ग्रैंड मदर सेज द राइटर एन एक्सपेंस ऑफ प्योर वाइट सेरेनिटी ब्रीदिंग पीस एंड कंटेंटमेंट एन एक्सपेंस एक्सपेंस मीन्स स्प्रेड एक एक्सपेंस था एक विस्तार था एक किसी चीज की स्प्रेड ओवर अ प्योर प्योरिटी वाइट प्योर वाइट सेरेनिटी सी वॉज सच सिंपल सच अ ग्रेसियस वुमन दैट फिल्ड विथ वाइटनेस ब्रीदिंग पीस एंड कंटेंटमेंट वो जहाँ भी जाती वहाँ ब्रीदिंग मीन्स यहाँ पे सांस लेने से नहीं मतलब ब्रीदिंग मीन्स स्प्रेडिंग मेकिंग एन एटमोसफियर पीस एंड कंटेंटमेंट पीस जहाँ भी दादी होती जहाँ भी ग्रैंड मदर होती वहाँ पीस आ जाती उसके अपियरेंस से कंटेंटमेंट कंटेंटमेंट मीन्स एक तरह का सेटिस्फेक्शन रहता सो वॉज द ग्रैंड मदर ऑफ द राइटर सो हियर यू वुड हैव स्टडीड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी now for the time of homework you just make some questions like four to five question out of these two or three paragraph write down the answers this is first task second task is you just repeat this if you have book you can take the help from book otherwise you can repeat this video in a slow motion and you can find out all the hard words uh, write down those hard words in your notebook consult your dictionary and write down the meaning of those hard words and post it on your class group thank you for now See you soon with the next part of the story. Thank you.